Oh, man. I cannot help myself. Yeah. You know, try not to laugh. Guys, try not to laugh about Muhammad, man. And this man-made cult. How can you be a Muslim? Guys, I always tell this to myself. How? When I close my live show and I, you know, it's about, you know, maybe I sit in my bed after a long day. Maybe I've done a live show together with you guys. And after all what we are talking about, we're showing the proof on the screen. I think to myself, how can you this, how can you be this stupid? How can you be a fool still in 2020? Are you telling me you are still living under a stone? Don't see these disasters. Do you really think that God, God forbid, do you really think that God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob would allow you to have sex in front of him in heaven? Do you really think so? Muslims, don't you think it's an insult for God in his presence to have sex? You think our holy God, God forbid, it's an insult, man, blasphemy, man. Do you think God would allow people to have sex in front of him? For eternity with everlasting erection, brother? I mean, imagine, guys, guys, imagine you, you are in heaven. As a Muslim, you are in paradise in Melfield, and you're going to cross swords with your dad with your eternal erections. Hi, Dad. Come on. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. You're live on air. Hello. Okay, inshallah. Um, oh, you're a Muslim, right? Yes. yes okay, and welcome. Finally, we have a Muslim. Welcome. You're live on air, my friend. Go ahead. Thank you. So I was just I was just following along. I just joined maybe like five minutes ago. Oh, that's bad. We you mentioned a lot of things, but go ahead. So I wanted to specifically talk about the ayah which you're talking about in Surah Al Anbiya. Uh, which one? Ayah twenty one. Uh, ayah seventeen. The. Uh, uh, okay, twenty one. Okay, let me go there. Just a second, you know. Okay, chapter twenty one, Surah Al Anbiya, ayah seventeen. Go ahead. No. So it says. Uh, mm -hmm. So if we're going to use, which translation are you using? Are you using Mohsen Khan, Sahih International? The, here, I, here in front of me, I have Ahmed Raz, Reza Khan. Okay. Do, but you, if see can, do it, you see the screen? Yeah, I can see the screen. Yeah, okay, see the screen. okay yeah. read it. If you can see the screen, you can read it. This is your Islamic website. This is QuranWow.com, one of the Quran website online. Go ahead, my friend, read it. So, لَوْ أَرَدَنَا أَتَّتَّخِذَ لَوْ أَهْلَهْوَ Lahwa. It says lahwa. 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 No, yes, lahwa. lahwa. Not, but, um, the, my the, friend, you're not in Arabic. You're not Arabic, right? I, I am Arab. No. no, no, you cannot read Arabic, man. Come on. Don't tell me that I need to correct you and you claim to know Arabic. Come on. I didn't. I didn't say you need to correct me. I'm just reading the actual, oh, okay. just the word, not not the tajweed, not the nahu. Okay. Just the uh, word. Ahwa. Okay. Okay. So it comes from the derivative of the word ahwa, which means desire, pleasure. Okay. And what 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 does what does okay? Since you claim that you know Arabic, what does ladunna mean? Ladunna means us. Ourselves, right? Yes. Okay. Who is the ourselves? Go ahead. When Allah so, is talking about ourselves, to, about who is Allah exactly talking? So Allah, ourselves here, it means me. It means I. It's the royal we. Really? No. So it says we could have chosen it from ourselves. But it's mm -hmm. talking, the past time is specifically, it's talking about a desire. For example, if you look at Tafsir al-Jalalain, the Tafsir of the two Jalals, then you yeah. can talk about, yes, perhaps the the hoodies or whatever okay so are you saying in front of everybody it's you know it's recorded right we are recording at the moment are you saying that al jalalain who are highly respected are you throwing them under the bus is that what I you're trying say, to say no that's not what i'm saying i'm okay. saying okay what are you saying about so, the, the, the listen very carefully to my words what i'm saying here yeah, is yes. i'm specifically saying that this jalalain this 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 tafsir okay yeah. you're talking about jibril it never mentions jibril uh, Jibril is an angel, right? Jibril is an angel, but this uh, is... He's not a jinn, right? He's not a jinn, just to be sure. Okay, but this... Listen, okay. Yeah. This is a specific Wait, wait, my friend. I'm not your akhi. According to Islam, I'm not your akhi. When you're calling me akhi, that means you're calling Muhammad a liar. You're not even allowed to be friends with a Jew or a Christian. So how how, how can I be your brother? But anyway, if, go, continue, continue, continue. So if you want to go on to that tangent, I was just trying to be cordial. Okay. Um, okay. As I like to be cordial. Yeah, I'm but we can, we can, we, you know, we can agree that you are not allowed to call me akhi, right? We can agree on that. I'm allowed to call you akhi. There's no fiqh opinion that I can't call you akhi. My friend, but listen. 
According to your Quran, you're not even allowed to be friends with me, let alone call me Akhi. What's wrong with you, man? You're, you're a munafiq. You're a kafir. You're a munafiq when you call me Akhi. I cannot be Akhi because I'm najis. According to your Quran, I'm najis. I'm the lower than any creature. We are worst of creatures. How can a, how can a kafir, a worst of creature, be your brother? Allahumma anyway, star. forget it. You know, yeah, yeah, okay. If you want continue. to go on this tangent. No, no, go ahead. Continue, continue, continue. Okay, thank you. Okay. So this ta'wil, this specific ta'wil from the tafsir of the two jalals, this tafsir of jalalain, okay? How we desire to find some diversion, that which provides diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we yes. would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful-eyed hurries or angels. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did, did, uh, did a jalalain separate well, the... Ar- no, no, okay, we... I will, well, I, will, I will allow you to finish. Did Ajalalain separate the ourselves from the no, beautiful out Huris no, right. and the angels? No, he didn't. So Laduna here, he's the Jalalains are saying that Laduna is referring to what? the beautiful out. No, well, no, 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 no. You said you says ourselves is Allah. Wait. According to our Jalalain, who know Islam better than you, these are I very agree. highly respected sources, right? I agree. They, they know, know Quran better than, be- better than you. And well, they're saying that ourselves, so you see guys, he said, well, lie. So we agree with Jal Jalalain. No, and Jalalain, that you're agreeing with them, you just said, no. yes, you said yes. You're not let, so you're, look, it's recorded, tactic, my friend. No, no, this, let me no, finish. No, it's not, not tactic. You finish, said, bro. and it's recorded. You can finish, go replay it. You let said, finish, yes, bro. I agree with them. So I said, ourselves I agree. are in I said, the I agree that they are better in Quran than me. I said, I agree that they are better in Quran understanding than me. Just let me finish for, let me finish my sentence without interrupting me, please. So what they're saying here, this is a specific ta'wil, okay? This is their ta'wil. This is not the ta'wil of Ibn Khathir. It's not the ta'wil of... There's different ta'w- There's different interpretations of the Qur'an. So here, yes. the tafsir of Jalals, they yes. say that the ourselves, the ladunna, is referring to the beautiful Aries or angels. My problem with what you said, though, my problem is this is a hypothetical that Al-Jalal came up with. This is not Allah saying, I would have taken a wife from, from an angel or I need an angel. Your, your title of the video is Allah needs a girlfriend to have a son. There is yes. nothing in this tafsir, nothing that Allah has said, nothing in this tafsir that the Jalal said that suggests what you are what you are purporting. It does not mention Jibreel. It does not mention any of that. This is a tafsir of a scholar, of a mufassir, or two mufassirs actually, because it's two jalas. But yes. it does not have anything to do with Allah it necessitates a girlfriend Wait, and have a son. Did you did you say just say did you say that Allah if he wants to, he cannot have sex with a, a female? Is that what you're saying? No, that's not don't put words in my mouth. Can can Allah have sex with a female? Yes or There's no? There's a difference between what Allah is and what Allah does. Okay. It is not I'm asking I'm asking a question, right? Can Allah if he wants to? Can he what have sex with, with someone? Can he can he do that? Yes or no? There's a difference between what Allah says or is and what Allah does. Allah would never uh, stoop to the levels that humanity is. But he can, it's, right? He can. Question. He can, right? Diff- Allah is the most high al There's a difference. He can, between- right? He can, right? If he wants to have a son, he can have sex with a f- either female or you know an angel, what right? What does that have to do with the argument? What does this have to do with the argument? My argument is. You Muslims think, and this is the ignorance of your fake prophet, he thinks and he's attacking. We know why, why Muhammad put this in chapter 6, I 101. Allah is clearly saying if he wants to have a son, he needs to have sex with a female, right? It's not say it needs to. It yes. says had. How we- can he, Allah, have a son when he never had a girlfriend? Sahiba. So Allah, to have a son, he needs to have sex with a girlfriend. This we can conclude no, that Allah saying, has a penis, saying. Allah has no. a penis, yeah, and he can have a girlfriend, right? No. He can. Where does it say penis? Where does it say this? Well, how can he, it's a he, how can he, Allah, have a son when he never had a girlfriend? Okay, so clearly, is... if Allah wants to have a son, he can have a girlfriend, but to have a girlfriend, to get a son, if so Allah wants to have a son, one. it must mean that Allah has a penis, like your let's, penis and my penis. Let's go right? to I, Let's go to 6, 101, Surah Al-Anam, right? How can he have a children when he has no sahiba? You could say Sahib. wife or no, no, no. You do. You see, sahiba. guys, sahiba. this guy, this guy is lying. He's not an Arab. It's not. There's nothing called sahiba. It's sahiba. You're a liar. You're a deceiver. You're not an Arab. Why are you trying to say that you're an Arab? You just got busted, man. Shame on you. I don't live in an Arab. Can country. you can you say sorry for lying to me, my friend? I wasn't born yesterday. There's nothing called sahiba. It's sahiba. It's sahiba. I made a mistake. I made a yeah, mistake. Because you're not an Arab. Why are you lying? Why are you lying to my face, my friend? I'm not born yesterday. Why are you lying? Shame on you, man. 
We have I'm not more than 200 people watching. Why are you lying? Shame on you. I'm not a native Arab. Yeah, you're not net in the, see, I'm not in the, don't waste my time, you filthy liar. I, guys, I have no time for liars, man. We're here talking about the truth. You filthy liar. Shame on you. You heard him in the beginning of our talk, right? Guys, this is why I hang up on him. I, I don't have a, I don't have the same patient of Christian praise. Sorry, guys. Maybe it's my, you know, it's, it's my nature. I cannot tolerate liars and deceivers. When he called me in the beginning, you, it's recorded, cope, replay it, guys. He clearly said, I'm an Arab. When I asked him, are you an Arab? He said, yes. Suddenly, it seems that this guy is lying. And you heard the last words. I'm not a native Arab. So you're not an Arab, you filthy liar. Sahiba? No, it's Sahiba. Sahiba? No, there's nothing called Sahiba, you liar. So guys, please don't, for the, if you, guys, if you love me, if you appreciate what I do, I am a guy, if you know me by now, I am a guy who will not accept any deceiver, any liar, to lie into my face, right? I can't, ex when I'm talking to a Muslim, there are a couple of things, I have my, I've set my own rules, I will not allow you to be on the same call with me when you're insulting my Lord and Savior, point number one, I will not allow you to lie straight to my face and go away with it. I will spank you and I'll put you in your place. You don't like it, but guys, please don't go to come to my live show. If you don't like my method, don't come to my live show. Please, leave. I will not tolerate any liar in the sea. I will spank you and I will put you in your face. And we just did that and we showed everybody that this guy is a liar in the sea. All right. I'm an Arab brother, Suhiba. Suhiba? What's a Suhiba, man? And you heard me, right? I corrected him once, and this is the second time. It's recorded. Imagine, guys, you have to lie, you have to lie to defend Islam. You idiot! How dare you to claim to know Islam better than Tafsir al-Jalalain? This is the teacher and the student. Jalal, guys, by the way, for the people who do not know, why is it called Al Jalalain? Because we have Jalal number one, who is the teacher, and you have Jalal number two. So, teacher and student. Al Jalalain, the both Jalals, right? The teacher and the student. This is why it's called. So, we have two persons. We have the teacher and his student who know Islam better than you. And according to them, the ourselves, right? Ourselves is nobody else than the beautiful eyed Huris with swelling breast, brother. Chapter 78. Or Jibreel. An angel like Jibreel. Uh, is there any other Muslim who, who won't dare to lie straight to my face and get uh, think you can get away with it? Right? If you want to have a respectful discussion, don't lie to me, straight to my face. I wasn't born yesterday, man. I wasn't born yesterday, all right? Do we have uh, other callers and other Muslim callers? <clears throat> and you see, guys, he's putting, you heard him, he's putting, he's throwing both Al-Jalals under the bus to help Allah out, right? Who are you compared to the teacher and the student, the both Jalals, Al Jalalin? Who are you, man? Who are you? You're a nobody compared to Al Jalalin. Right? Is there any uh, Muslim? Who has the courage and the knowledge to call us live on air? Anyone?
Any Muslim? No Muslim? All right. Uh, if there are Christians who wants to call, the gentleman who called me earlier, you're allowed to call me back. The Christian gentleman. Uh, silence, fi sabil Allah. Silence, brother. Fi sabil Allah, brother. For the sake of Allah, let us be silent, brother. Any Abdul? Maybe there are Christians who wants to call. Christians are allowed to call us now. Right? Please, like I said, don't call me when I'm in the middle of the teaching. Only Muslims can do because they are our guests. But if you want to call as a Christian now, now you are allowed to call. What's the number to call? You need to download Skype and add my Skype ID, the Rob Christian. The Rob Christian, without separation. That's the number to dial. Right? So if you want to call us, guys, go ahead. The lines for the Christians are open too. Do we have any callers? Yeah, we don't have an actual phone, guys. We have Skype. Any Abdul? Any Christian? Uh, who said all Muslims are terrorists? Uh, well, uh, the Quran says that. The Quran says in chapter 9, I, uh, 28, 29, you have to fight, right? The Jews and the Christians. You have to fight them. So when you fight, the Jews and the Christians, are you terrorists? What have the, the, the Jews and the Christians done to you? Allah says in chapter 9, 28 and 9, 29, you know, the polytheists are filthy, nejus. And who are the polytheists too? Right? The people who do not accept Muhammad and his deen al-haq, Allah deen al-haq and Muhammad. That includes also the people of the book who reject Muhammad. How do you get money from forcing jizya? Yeah, hello. 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 My... Yes, hello? hello. Yeah, your sound, your sound is really acting up. Can you maybe do something about your sound, my friend? Hello. Yeah, hello. Go ahead. Are there any sources besides Christianity to prove that? Uh, my friend, I can't understand anything you say. Please fix your connection or fix your sound and call me back. Do you have other callers? Guys, I really, you know, do something about your sound, please. Hello? 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 Yeah, hello? Yeah. Are we going to play hello, hello? Guys, come on. Yeah, are there any here? I, I I can't understand I can't understand you. Fix fix your sound, please. Uh, sound it sounded as if I was talking to a, a bee or something. I don't know. Any other callers? Yeah, you, I I really tried, guys. Sorry, I do not understand what this guy was saying. Fix your sound, please, and then call me back. Uh, Let's see, I, I had a call from this gentleman. It says connecting. Are you offline, my friend? Amun Ra, are you offline? Please call me back if you're online. Other callers, guys? Now guys, you know, the thing is, when you are not an Arabic speaker, and we already proved that that Muslim was not an Arabic speaker, he was acting like an Arab, a wannabe Arab, trying to uh, talk like an Arabic, but when you're going to do that, we're going to bust you, and we're going to prove to everybody that you're a liar, and we don't so. Laduna, guys. Laduna means, go watch, you know, go, go, go search it up, do some digging, and you will see that it's someone else than Allah. It's another person. I mean, Tafsir Jalalain is very, very crystal clear, right, guys? 
ourselves who are the aladunna from among the beautiful eyed huris or the angels so here tafsir jalalin has to guess you know why you know why because those people are very classical arabic scholars al jalalin the teacher and the student are very 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 high respected scholars they know what they are talking about they didn't say that ourselves is allah right from among the beautiful eyed huris and the angels so we know that angels in islam are males like jibril or the big breasted women so allah can either be gay or maybe he's straight he will take from the beautiful out huris but when you're going to say ourselves that mean the angels and the beautiful out huris are equal right they are divine beings like allah ourselves i mean our kind ourselves plus one plus one man maybe oh yeah maybe he's bisexual maybe allah is bisexual maybe he wants to do both allahu alam Right? Yeah, same level as Allah, exactly that admiral. When you're talking about ourselves, Ladunna, and we know it's a partner for sex. Sex. Right? And the action, you know, here they, they are pictured it as a pastime, maybe a hobby or something. It's not a hobby. If you want to call it a hobby, well, be my guest, but we know what it means. It's sex hobby. <laughs> right? I mean, the proof is in front of you, man. Any Muslim? Any Christian who wants to call, guys? Can, let me call this. I think we have a Muslim caller. Let's see. Pick up the phone, Abdul. Pick up the phone. Yalla, yalla. Hello? 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 Why did you hang up, brother? Did you just find out it's Rob Christian, brother? You are scared to death, brother. Hello? It's me. That you're looking for, but you're scared to pick up the phone, brother. Brother, speaking from Kif Hira, brother. I mean, guys, if you if you're going to say I don't have a beautiful voice, I'm going to block all of you. How dare you? <laughs> I have beautiful voice, brother. Hello. Yeah, my voice is gone, guys. But let let me try anyway. Suleiman. Hello. Hello? Yeah, hello. You're live on air. Hello? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. That's... Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you a Muslim? Yes, uh, I'm watching your show and it's very, it's very convincing to me. I'm starting to question a few things, so I'd like to ask a question. You are, you are starting to question things? Yes. Okay, what, what, is, what, is, what, is you, what are you questioning, and, uh, to be specific? So, I'm sp specifically what you're talking about now. So, I would like to... Uh, Mm -hmm. and since you said, uh, can you speak louder, you please? Like, can you come closer uh, to the okay. mic? Yeah, please. Okay, okay, hold on. Yeah. Is this better? Yeah, much better. Welcome. Okay, okay. So I would like to uh, ask a question. Since you were mentioning, you know, the whole uh, Allah being gay thing, yeah. Mm hmm. So do you have a lot of experience with uh, being gay? Just go. Just go. You see, you see, you see, they have nothing. They, they, you're, you're an idiot. Do you have any experience with being gay? No, your Allah has his experience with being gay. Your prophet, when he said, you know, go to Sira Nabawiyah, we, we, made, we made a couple of uh, live shows about it. Your prophet was raped by man. Your prophet used to sleep with his uncle naked in, in the bed of his uncle, right? How dare you, man? 
You know, don't we always say everything Muslims say will be used against their own prophet in a court of law? Your prophet said, my cousin raped me. Muhammad speaking from Kif, Ira, Ira. Your prophet said, my cousin raped me. Ibn Ammi, Fahata Kaardi. So everything you say will go, go back to your prophet, man. Your prophet was raped by his cousin. Hello, your life on yeah. Hello, brother uh, Rob. I am again, Nico. Yeah, yeah, you're Christian. Yeah. Well, welcome, so God bless you. God. God bless I want to thank you for for your work yeah, and thank that you, you my that you do fight you see, like. A... Do you see these evil sons of Satan, my friend? Yes, I see them. You see, uh, when you're bankrupt, when you're bankrupt, you're going to play games. You're going to call me and waste my time. And and when you're going to say something, I'm going to use it against your prophet in the court of law. His prophet, right? He's talking about gays. His prophet used to kiss men. In, on the in, in the, in, uh, he used to kiss penis of Hassan, you know, the sons yeah. of Ali. He he used to, you know, he even said, "My cousin raped me." Ibn Ammi Ardi. Ibn Ammi Ardi. My cousin raped me. So how dare you to even go there, man? How dare <laughs> okay, you, man? I, I have a question to you, uh, Rob. Uh, the topic of the video is the Surah Six One O One. Yeah, Chapter Six One O One. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Uh, in the Surah 3, 1, 5, 4, Allah attacked the non-Muslim that they have pagan thinking. Yeah. But the writer of the Quran in Surah 6, 1, 1 have no pagan uh, thinking. No. Because what? the Arab in the past, in the antique, they have uh, many gods. Yeah. And they have sex and make children. They need to uh, have a relationship, like you yes. say, a girlfriend yeah. to make sex. Exactly. Guys, just a second, my friend. Guys, do you hear what this gentleman is saying? In other words, what he's saying in a nutshell, the gods before Islam, we know Allah existed before Islam, right? Allah and Akbar, the son, they had daughters, Allah, Al Uzza, Al Mana, the daughters of Allah, who used yes, to intercede yes, for the yes, pagan yes. Quraysh, right? right? For the pagan yes. Meccas before Islam. So Allah had a daughter. Of course, Muhammad, because he is a pagan, he used to be a pagan, and he's still a pagan. He adopted the same Allah who existed before Islam, and he thinks with his pagan point of view that when Christians say, when Christians say, Jesus is the Son of God, and we see that Mary is the, 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 the mother of our Lord. He thinks automatically with his pagan mind, Allah can only have a son through sexual intercourse. So yes, he thought that God of the Bible had sex with Mary. God forbid it's blasphemy. It's an insult. Right? So yeah, he, with his pagan mind, he said, how can Allah he have a son when he never had a girlfriend? Of course, yes, Muhammad the, always thinks with his penis. Muhammad the, thinks with his penis. Exactly. Yes. The, the earliest Muslims, they uh, misunderstood the Trinity. They heard about the Christians say, uh, Mary is the mother of God. Yeah. Because that they must be a God. Because that he make a mistake and called Mary as a part of the Trinity. Yes. But this is not saying if uh, Jesus Christ coming in flesh and become a human. Yeah. They must born as a human and they have naturally a, a, a mother. And this is this is what the Christian mean with mother of God. Yeah. And the Arab hear this and they have the pagan thinking and they think that Mary is a God. Because yeah. that, the author of the Quran make the mistake, call the non-Muslim in Surah 3, 1, 5, 4, yeah. uh, they have thinking of pagan, but yeah. the author of the Quran have self-rest thinking exactly. of pagan. Exactly. My friend, I want to add something maybe I forgot to say. Guys, guys, why do Muslims, when you may be debated Muslims, maybe you have debated Muslims for the people who are listening, why Muslims always think that... God of the Holy Bible, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, why do you think when we say Jesus, the Son of God, they automatically, because if you are a Muslim, you have to go by this ayah, chapter 6, ayah 101. So you have, uh, if you call yourself a Muslim, you have to go away, uh, you have to agree with Muhammad. If you don't agree with Muhammad and the Quran of Muhammad, that means you are not a Muslim. So if because Muhammad thought, how can he, Allah, have a son? When he never had a girlfriend, you have to think with Muhammad, you have to agree with Muhammad that according to Christianity, the Christians, the God of the Christians, the father had sex with Mary. So if you call yourself a Muslim, you have to agree, right? You have to agree with Allah. You I have, have another question. That's the problem.
I have another question, Rob. Uh, this is not a topic today, but uh, you can uh, speak uh, and read perfect Arabic. Yeah. Can you translate me Surah 40, Ayah 80, if this is translated correct? Uh, chapter 4? 40, 40. 40. Okay, four zero. Okay, let's see. That 40. Allah created the animals to can make with them everything what is in the heart. Mm -hmm. That's so true. if you're perverse, you can have sex with the animal, with the uh, donkey or, or sheep or else, like Arab son do. Uh, let's see. Is, I just want to know if this is correct, translate. No, 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 this is not talking. Let us not go, you know, not not going to lie. That's not what it's no, 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 talking no, no, about, you no. know, riding like, you know. I I, I, uh, I, I am from Romania and yeah. I grown up in Germany and uh, yeah. English is my third language. Yeah. And uh, in the most translation that I read, that is uh, translated that you can uh, fulfill your uh, what is in your heart with an animal. Yeah. There's not writing sex, but if you are uh, sick human, yeah. And in your heart is this, you can make this with, a, yeah, with, a, you know, with, with this translation. This yeah, you, you, you actually make a good point because uh, I, till today, guys, I'm doing this for 15 years. Every Muslim has his own personal tafsir for any ayah of the Quran. If you are an evil Muslim and you still call yourself a Muslim, maybe you can do a tafsir like this, like you just explained it. You know, I but that's not what the Arabic says, to be honest with you, right? But, you I know, was. if you're an evil Muslim and you have your own personal tafsir, yes, you can do call it bishality. So it depends on what kind of Muslim you are. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. I, I was on a barbershop and um, uh, the the guy that cut my hair, mm -hmm. he was a Muslim Arab. Yeah. And I asked him the same question, if he can translate with his own word. Yeah. And he read it and said, oh, oh, no, I must read tafsir. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's if you if you want to, yeah, you can you can do everything with the Quran, to be honest with you, you know, because till now, find, Muslims, Muslims cannot in, even yeah. all scholars have to give their own personal interpretation. Right. Uh, Muslims still don't agree. You know, even even uh, according to the Quran, nothing is actually clear. They, Allah claims to, uh, that he sent down the clear Quran, but other eyes say that, you know, the Quran is not clear. The only clear book is chapter one, right? Or the only chapter that is clear is chapter one, according to the Quran. But if we go to chapter one, my friend, even when we read it, it, it only explains to us that Allah needs guidance, right? It doesn't say qul say. So if, if we ask Muslims who is talking, they say Allah. Since it doesn't say qul, right? Qul say, mm -hmm. that means Allah needs guidance. Allah needs to be guided. Do you see it? And Allah saying, you Allah, Allah saying, you Allah, we alone worship. You Allah, Allah saying, you Allah, owner of the day. So here, even chapter one, who is the mother of the book, right? They, they call Al-Fatiha, the mother of the book. So even the mother of the book is not crystal clear. So to who is Allah I saying, have... please guide us to the straight path? To who, right? Uh, can can I ask uh, another question? Yes, go ahead. Uh, the devils and the jinns in the Quran, in the Islamic source, in thinking, yeah. are these the same or are these different uh, existence? No, existence? no. no. Uh, jinn are created from smokeless fire and angels are created from nur, which is no, light. No, no, not, not angels, not angels, devils. Yeah, the jinn are, are not angels. It's no, 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 this was not my question. Is Sorry? a jinn the is the is a jinn the same like a devil? Yes, is the is the are they the same? Yeah. yeah, they are the same. Because in Surah twenty six, uh, Ayah two hundred nine to two hundred twelve, Allah say, uh, Allah hold back the devils from listening the Quran. Yeah. But in Surah seventy two, Ayah one. They say the jinn listen the the beautiful Quran. Which which was the last one? Which ayah you said? Uh, seven, uh, t t uh, seven? seventy-two. Seven, Se seven two. Yeah. Seven two one. Yeah. The jinn listen the the uh, the beautiful Quran. Yeah. But in uh, twenty-six, 
a la uh, hold back to listening. No, the thing is, uh, according to Islam, you have good jinns, I kid you not, who become Muslims, and you have bad jinns, like Shaitan himself, the leader of the Shayateen. He is bad one. He's the bad one. He's the head of the angel. He's the leader of the. So you have good jinns who become Muslims, and you have bad jinns who, you know, are evil. But so it depends but what in, kind of jinn you have. But in Surah 26, uh, Ayat 209 to 212, Allah don't say good or bad uh, devils don't listen. No, Just no, the devils yeah. hold back. Yeah, yeah, and and you know we have to guess what kind of devils they are. <laughs> So either, you know, pick and choose who are the good, who are the, the bad, you know, Allah knows Allah best. Allah knows best. <laughs> it's always, always oh, okay, Allah okay. knows best. And what is a jinn? It's a being, it's a being that Allah, according to Islam, Allah created together with the angels. The jinns are from smokeless fire and the angels are from nur. Light. But here, yeah, light. But here comes the problem. Since Muslims I can agree, all of all the Muslims can agree on that. We have a disaster. Why? Let us show you why. If we go to chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, guys, take notes. People who are listening. Don't call me when I'm middle in a call, you idiot. Same Abdul who called me. Chapter 2, <laughs> Ayah 34. It says, and remember, there's nothing called remember, but you know, and when we order the angels, to do sujood, which is an act of worship, by the way, guys. So Allah is asking the angels to commit shirk, to worship, do sujood, in front of Adam, right? Do sujood to Adam. Faiz judu, right? Sujood, act of worship. Mm -hmm. So Allah is asking the angels to commit shirk before Adam. So they all prostrated, so they all did sujood. Except who? Iblis, Satan. Do you see it? But wait, 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 wait. Here Allah is commanding the angels. Do you see the angels to do, th to do that? Not the jinn. Guys, did you catch it? Allah is commanding the angels. Wait a second. Why is Allah becoming angry? Why is Allah calling Satan a disbeliever? When Satan, as we explained earlier to you, is a jinn. He is not an angel. Here, who's I the good know. guy? Yeah, he, who is the good guy? It's Satan, because Satan doesn't want to do shirk. He doesn't want to prostrate to Adam. And he says, yeah, you know, I, you know. Uh, no, no. Uh, can I say, say something? Yes, uh, this is very important, Muslim, guys. This is a disaster. Muslim, yeah. The Muslim always say that the angel yeah. have no own will. Yes. Okay. If God create a robot yeah. that have no will, Mm -hmm. God can uh, command in anything. Exactly. God make rules. Mm -hmm. Don't do this robot. Yeah. But if God command him, he will do. He will yeah. break the rules. Yeah, but you know the, the funny the thing. What, yeah. what is the mistake of Iblis? Yeah, exactly. What's the what did Satan do? Satan what is did, actually the good guy. Wrong? Yeah, he's no the good guy, right? He's the good guy. Uh, only the uh, the his um uh, why he do that is yeah. a little bit uh, funny. Because yeah. he is made him from earth and I made him from fire. If he say, hold on Allah, yeah. you say don't worship anybody, just Allah. Yeah. Uh, there's an Abdul, there's an Abdul in the live okay. chat. He's trying okay. to correct me. Just a second. Aryan, okay. Aryan. It's, what does it say here? What does it say, you idiot? Let me play. Just, you know, you know we, are not, we are not afraid of you, Abdul. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wait, just a second. Just a second, my friend. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, is judo you liar idiot anyway you, see, you heard it right <laughs> I, have have correct last, yeah. I have a last question then i am i'm out yeah i don't want to waste the time yeah. and the viewers um um i have the question yeah. can you uh, show the muslims there is no islamic source that is the fundament of islam that Noah have four sons because the Quran don't uh, talk about how many sons Noah had. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Bible says three. The Quran say one of his uh, son dies. But mm -hmm. my question is, dear Muslims outside there, they listen to me now. Mm -hmm. Which son dies? <laughs> the son from the line is uh, become Ab uh, Abraham, the line from King Nimrod or the line from Gog and Magog, which That's line the Quran won't delay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Show me one source. Show me one source from Quran or Sunnah that say that Noah have four or more sons. Mm. Then I'm quiet. Opinion mm. of scholars is not guilty. Mm. Only source from Sunnah or yeah. Quran. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a good point, name? my friend. What yeah. is his name? What is his name? Yeah. Uh, some uh, Islamic uh, opinion says his name is Yam. Mm -hmm. But this is a bullshit because. <laughs> my Yam friend, Suf, please don't use that language, please, my friend. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Because because Yam Suf is the place where Moses uh, split the 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 sea. Yeah. Yeah. His name was Yam Zuf. Yeah. But the. <laughs> Noah don't have a son named Yam. Exactly, exactly. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Ibn Kathir is the only one that say there is a yeah. fourth son. Yeah. But Ibn Kathir is a scholar. Someone is this... saying in the, in the chat, Noah had a fourth son called Harry Potter. Maybe that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ibn Kathir uh, uh, make yeah. a mistake. In one yeah. point, say uh, yeah. Yam yeah. Is, the, is Ham. Yeah. Ah, it's, in, in, you know, Islam, man. man. Crazy. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm finished now. God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for calling. Fight uh, uh, until your whole life. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Stay I appreciate. the right way and never show your face online. Please never show mm. your face online or your real name. Because in, <laughs> Germany, no yeah. in Germany, there is a guy. His name is Amir. Yeah. He's also a, a good YouTuber. Yeah. And the Muslim tried to kill him. Yeah, but the I, police, I heard that. Yeah, the police stopped them. Yeah, and I think I the guy who is friends with Christian Prince, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I heard this. Yeah, yeah you see, Muslims, they, you know, show me your face, Rob Christian. Yeah, we know, we know. Okay. We know. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Don't thank worry, you for this talk. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Thank I'm you. out. Bye. Bye bye. Bye God bye. Bless you. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Bye bye. Yeah, Amir. Yeah, maybe you heard Muslims tried to call him. You know, to try to kill him. They try to find out where he live, you know, because he's an apostate. And according to Islam, if you become an apostate, you leave Islam, right? Amir, he's an apostate. He left Islam and he became a Christian. He's from Germany. Muslims wanted to kill him. You know? It's the religion of peace, brother. Let's see if this is another troll or whatever. Yes, hello. Hello? Hello? Okay. Trolls, man. Brother? Brother? Are we going to play the hello game? Hello? 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 Anyway. Kids. So, Muslims. Muslims. How are you not leaving Islam? If you read a chapter like this, Ayah 34, chapter 2, Ayah 34, it clearly says that Allah is forcing, commanding the angels to bow down, prostrate. Iblis is not an angel. Why is Allah angry with him? Hello? Hey, Brother Rob, Krishna, how you doing? I'm good. How about you, my friend? God bless you. Welcome. I want to make a comment before I um, say what I wanted to say. First of all, you did real good with the Muslim who called in. I had one do me the same way mm -hmm. when they threw uh, Jalaleen under the bus. But yeah. I was hoping you would have said um, how they cherry pick when to yeah. <laughs> uh, use Jalaleen and when yeah. they use to throw out one of their top sears yeah. because they're they good with picking and choosing something when it exactly exactly what when it suits them they're going to say you know Jalalain is second to none he is the best of the best when when it suits them even Kathir is the best of the best but when it doesn't suit them when we can expose it, uh, Islam yeah. with using the tafsir suddenly no 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 uh, the tafsir is only uh, it's only opinion brother it's only opinion but when it suits them oh no we can, we are allowed to go to tafsir jalani to expose the Quran do you see how bankrupt these people are right thank god right. we don't have this issue thank right. god we don't have this issue in christianity thank god right, right. and um remember last week i had called in mm -hmm. And I was um, speaking about Muslims that yeah. that um, um, that hadith I share, and I was talking about Muslims when Muhammad gave them the permission to 
pray however they feel is correct. Mm -hmm. And my friend, try today uh, not to go too much off topic, all right? Because we have a very uh, important topic that Muslims cannot deal with. They are, you know, the only thing they can, uh, you know, the only thing they can do is cherry pick what they like and what they not like from the tafsir. The proof is in front of them. We show them the, from the Quran. Allah must have a penis, right? Allah must have a penis because he's talking about a sahiba, a girlfriend. So if Allah wants to have a son, he must have a, a sahiba first. It seems that Allah is limited. Allah needs to go on a dating site, right? Allah needs to go to a dating site or use a dating app to find himself a sahiba so he can F her, he can have sex with her, so he can have a, he can have a son. But Allah doesn't want that. So it seems that Allah is better than his prophet because Muhammad, even married women, married Muslim women were not safe from Muhammad, right? Right, so and Allah, and Allah seems better than his prophet. Yeah, and, and and when you read the um the tafsir of Jalalain, yeah. when it says ourselves, what it does, it associates mm -hmm. Allah with one of you know how it, it commits shark because when you say yes. ourselves, like if I said me and you and another person, we are was, ourselves. Yeah. If I said ourselves, it put all of us on the same level. Exactly, so and that's my point, my friend. That's my point. Yeah. Who is the ourselves? Is it Allah one, Allah two? Maybe female Allah and, and a male Allah? Is it the beautiful Ayat Huris? Is the angels? Who are the ourselves? That's the question. That's the one million dollar question, right? Right. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Plural. Yeah, so yeah, plural. Someone's saying plural. Plural, exactly. We, Allah, ourselves. Okay. Yeah, so they. So they make a big mistake when they do that, and that's why they have to deny it. And the only thing I want I have wanted to share, but I can do it some other time. I was just going to show you that in another hadith, he made a contradiction and he was like, pray what you are sure of. But yeah. the one I said last week, he said, Pray however you feel is correct. So that's that's yeah. really all I was going to share, but yeah. I don't want to get on the subject, you know. But no, yeah. my friend, yeah, you know, just just for today, you know, because yeah, I, I want to stay on topic. I don't want to go too much, you know, maybe other future live show, you know, you know, we had amazing calls before. But yeah. today, because this is very, very specific topic that I picked today, this is why I don't want to go too much of topic, right? Right, right. Is, do, do you want me to block you, you idiot? Idiot. Wait, sorry, my friend. Just a second. No, you idiot. I'm in the middle of a call. Why are you? Why are you <laughs> acting? Why are you showing us the true face of Islam? So because you don't know, like that we are spanking your prophet and spanking your fake idol, you want to silence us, disrupt the call by calling through, when we are calling, have a, we are in a call. Shame on you, man. Is this what you, that's the only thing you got? Anyway, continue yeah. my friend. Sorry, sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah. So, and even like they want to talk, you want to talk about shirt. I don't know if this stand on um, topic or not, but in Surah, 2946 when when Allah says that your God and our God are one yeah but he he's referring to um uh Yahweh which has a totally different nature exactly. than the God of the Muslims so yeah. you can even apply that yeah. in the case of you know Allah committing shirk and yeah. I don't think that ourselves I've never heard ourselves as um the majestic plural i think yeah. they exaggerate that majestic plural thing because how was majestic plural in operation before humans were even created when this is just allah and this is supposed to be the mm. eternal quran so yeah. why would he be implying to the yeah. the majestic plural in the uncreated quran that doesn't yeah. even make sense here, here here is disaster my friend we worship a triune God. We, we worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as one God. So it makes it makes perfect sense when the Old Testament is talking about let us create an image in our uh, you know in our image, our image, right? Let us create a man in our image, our our right. It makes perfect sense because it's it, we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But when Muslims say Allah is one. When they say Allah is one, how did it become we? And what what royal we? Royal we, the royal we, by the way, uh, this this very uh, specific term, royal we, is invented a couple centuries ago, right? 
somewhere in England, if I'm not mistaken. The royal we that Muslims love to talk about is a creation. Are you trying to compare creation with the creator Muslims? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Royal we is an English invention, right? If, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Right? Right. When right, we have same. the queen, queen, the queen of England. When when we are talking about a royal we, that's are you comparing Allah to the queen of England? Right. I think that's a modern day excuse that they made up. I don't yes. even think. Yeah, that's a modern day excuse. I don't even think you know the classical Muslim scholars even said that. A lot yeah. of this stuff is from yeah. the modern day perspective when exactly. they are. Exactly. Yeah, when they are forced to do this because of, you know, the rise of people like yeah. you, Chris Prince, yeah. and it's making them, you know. Exactly. But you know, the thing is, the problem is, you know, what Muhammad, why Muhammad used this language? Because Muhammad, when he went to the Jews, guys, pay attention, please, in the chat. When Muhammad went to the Jews, he went to the Christians, he wanted to convince them that he is a prophet from God. So he tried, when he was with the Christians, he tried to use the same language of the book of Genesis, for example. Right? In our image. Let us create man in our image. So he tried to copy the God of the Holy Bible. This is why. Right? This is why we can find the we in the Quran. But it doesn't make sense. You claim that Allah is one. That's not my claim. That's your claim, Muslims. How is Allah talking about ourselves? How is Allah talking about we? We. Well, he is only one. And there's nothing called right. royal we, because royal we is an invention that is invented somewhere in England a couple of centuries ago. It's not that old. It's for the <laughs> Queen of England, let's say. It's right. a, a man-made creation, a man-made word. How did Allah, how is Allah comparing himself with a creation? Right? Doesn't make sense again. It's your funeral, Muslims. You can stay in this field. It's on you. You can accept to be in the, uh, you know, to stay in the lies of Muhammad, die as a Muslim, but we know it's your funeral, it's your salvation, it's your soul. But my friends, my friends, wake up. We are not here. We are not here because we hate you, Muslims. We actually and love you. And this is tough love. We use tough love to shake you up so that you can leave Islam, drop Muhammad, come back home to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I remember from my... Else, I wanted to ask you too, and this will be my last thing. Um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but mm -hmm. SC Dawa channel, they mm -hmm. are actually doing um live call-ins. They've been doing that recently, like yeah. the past week or so. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you was aware of that, but I was going to say because I actually called in and was able to uh address Adnan Rashid, yeah. and I actually have it on my channel where I get them busted. Mm -hmm. With that same hadith that I showed on your channel that I had called in about uh, last mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. And if anybody want to go see it, it's on my channel, actually, where I actually um get Anand Rashid, Mansoor, mm -hmm. um, all of those main people that my friend, My friend, you know, let me let me tell you something. Yeah. We, we used to, uh, Christian Prince, I, myself, many Christians in the past, we learned from our lessons. We used to go to Islamic rooms where they had the trigger in their hands. They had the, the, the mute button in their hands. You know, when we, when I drop the call, guys, that does not mean that I'm muting Muslims. I am dropping the call because you're lying straight to my face. As long as you are honest, you are respecting yourself and you're respecting the call. I'm not going to mute you. But the moment I catch you lying, I'm going to spank you and put you in your place. But when we used to go to the Islamic rooms, even when we try to talk in a bad way about Muhammad, they immediately muted us. You cannot have a dialogue with a Muslim, try to talk and say something bad about Muhammad without them being insulted immediately. So how are you going to have a nice and respectful uh, discussion with a Muslim controlling the mute button? And my friend, I didn't even last longer than a w one minute in the Islamic room. So we stopped doing that. This is why I will never go to a Muslim controlled server or a Muslim controlled environment because they will not allow us to speak against Muhammad. Because imagine if you insult Muhammad or it say something bad about Muhammad, they are allowed to kill you. So that alone, if you're going to make him look bad, 
right? So I'm not going to, do, to waste my time and go to it. If they have something to say, we are here. We're not hiding. Let them come, all right? We're not going to kill you. We're not going to uh, mute you. If you want to have a nice, respectful discussion, but if I catch you lying straight to my face, I will put you in your place and I will hang up on you, all right? But that does not mean I'm muting you, no. I just don't tolerate liars and deceivers. That, that's just me. You know, some people have more patience, but I don't have patience for lies and deceivers. You don't like it? Not my problem, not my business. Right? And one more thing on Mr. Raw personal life. How does it even make sense when they say that if all I wanted to have a son or daughter, he would go, he would get one a pastime from himself when he is no gender? Like, yeah. If he's not a man, if he's not a female, then my friend, my friend, he is a man. He is a man, and he is a penis. It's it's crystal clear. Chapter six, ayah one hundred one. How can he, Allah? How can he, guys? Pay attention, please. How can he, Allah, have a son when he never had a girlfriend, a sahiba? So clearly, Allah has a penis, and he's a male. He can, if he wanted, he could have a girlfriend, but he doesn't want to. It seems that Muhammad has more sharaf. Muhammad's Allah, Muhammad's Allah has more honor, more dignity than the Prophet of Islam who used to steal wives of Muslims. Any Muslim wife who Muhammad flirted with and he fell in love with her, blaming Allah for it. Subhan muqallib al qulub. Glory to, the, to Allah who turns my heart. Right? He blaming Allah for flirting with someone else's wife, <coughs> falling in love with her. Right? So it seems that Allah has more dignity. He has more honor than the Prophet of Islam. Uh, we but have what? loved, my, wait my friend, we have Love Day, a Muslim who is triggered. He says, Rob Christian, stop your channel, you pig. Make me. Make me. You and what army are going to stop me, you idiot. Continue. Why do they say that Allah has no gender then? Yeah. <laughs> because they are scumbags and liars. Because they are go, when they say that they actually go against Allah, they call Muhammad a liar and a deceiver because the ayah is crystal clear. Chapter 6, ayah 101. How can he, Allah, he, he is a he, he's a man, have a son when he never had a girlfriend? Right. I mean, right. I don't, I don't need, I don't need to be a scholar to understand what Allah is saying here, right? Come on, my friend. Right? I'm going to let you go and finish. The, I'm going to just enjoy the yeah. rest of your show while I'm eating this pizza. So I'll just let you go, you know. Yeah, but sure. nice speaking with you today. Yeah, God bless you, my friend. Thank you for calling. It's a blessing right. to, to talk to you, my friend. Keep calling me, my friend. I love you. I love you in Christ, bro. You're my brother in Christ. You. See you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Carrie Ann says, Chapter 6, 101 sounds clear to me. Exactly, sister. You don't need to be a scholar to understand what Allah See if this guy is a troll. He's a Muslim. I think he's Shia. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Let me block this idiot. He wants to. Uh... Yeah. You you've been blocked. Enjoy your the blocking. You've been uh, put in your place by a Christian. I hope you're you're happy about it, man. He wants to kill my ears, man. Yeah, and I think it was uh, Jibril pissing in my headphones, man. You can't, you can't refute them. Try to silence them by sending Jibreel, who, oh, I mean Satan. Jibreel is Satan. He's the demon who was squeezing Muhammad in. Keith, hero, hero, let me squeeze you, brother. My enemy, Qari, Iqra, Iqra, my enemy, Qari, Qari, I cannot read. Let me squeeze you. <laughs> right? So they, they want to send Jibreel trying to piss in our ears. Brother, what's wrong with you, brother? Grow up, man. Even my eight-year-old nephew doesn't do such things, man. Grow up, man. And this guy must be, you know, a guy with a big beard and brother. And a jihad, even jihad. Yeah, yeah. You must be proud. Your, your daddy must be proud about you, man. Uh, Zoraida Ortiz says, Rob, if Muslims believe Allah needs sex to make a son, doesn't that limit the power of Allah? Exactly. You know, Allah can only have son. Guys, this lady made a very, very smart claim. Let me repeat her question. Rob, 
If Muslims believe Allah needs sex to make a son, doesn't that delimit the power of Allah? Yes, they are cutting off the legs of Allah from beneath him. Muslims cut off Muhammad actually, not Muslims, Muhammad who fabricated chapter 6, ayah 101. He just cut off the legs of Allah. He cut the only shin that Allah has, he cut it off. Why? Because you are limiting Allah, proving to the Christians who are watching here, any Christian who can read the Quran, chapter 6, ayah 101, you can actually find, and this is proof that Allah is very limited to God. He is nothing but a dead moon idol, a stone. He is a statue from the Kaaba among the 360 idols, right? Who the pagans used to worship. Allah, the supreme moon idol, with his three daughters, Allah, 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 Allah is not all powerful as the Muslims claim. He his only way to get a son is by effing his girlfriend. You see how limited this Allah is, guys? Do you see how limited Allah is? He can only have a son if he effs his wife. Of uh, Sorry, there's no wife. Girlfriend, sahiba. Sahiba. Right? Yeah, so they are... Muhammad cut off the shin of Allah, brother. In middle. Allah is now walking without a shin, brother. Yeah, yeah, snow leopards, <laughs> you, you Christians are, you know, you Christians are smart, man. Snow leopard says, why Allah doesn't do kun fayakun, right? B, say B, and then he, Allah will have a son. Exactly, again, proving that Allah is very limited God. He, if he wants to have a son, he needs a girlfriend, brother. He can't create. <laughs> Clearly not. He needs a girlfriend so he can F her, so he can get a son. So when Muhammad started to attack, guys, the, you know, this ayah is an immediate attack, like I said. Immediate attack to our Lord and Savior. When Muhammad fabricated this ayah, he wanted to attack the biblical teaching that when God sent the Holy Spirit to overshadow Mary, Muhammad thought, you know, because he's a pagan, and everything, uh, you know, pagan, pagan uh, Islam, you know, before Islam, pagan Arabia, they used to circle around the Kaaba. They used to, the women, they used to put menstrual blood. That's where Hajj come from. Ihtikak, Hak, Ihtikak, Hajj. Guys, Hak, Ihtikak, Hajj. Ihtikak means rubbing. Rubbing what? Blood, menstrual blood on the stone. The black stone to be specific. So the women before Islam, the pagan women, used to rub the menstrual blood, their menstrual blood, on the black stone, rubbing it. Ihtikak, hak, hajj, that they now call hajj. Hak, hajj, ihtikak, rubbing. Did you hear it? So everything was about Islam. You know, even Islam, when Muhammad adopted, everything was about sex, 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 fertility. Having sex around the Kaaba, going naked around the Kaaba. Even having orgies around the Kaaba. Orgies, yes, sexual orgies, yes. This is Muhammad with his pagan set of mind. He thought when the Christians said that Jesus is the Son of God, that means the Father, God forbid, this is insult, right? We, we said it, right guys? It's an insult, God forbid, it's blasphemy. To say or to think that God the Father in heaven had sex with Mary and that's how Jesus came into existence. It's blasphemy. It shows the ignorance of the Prophet of Islam about the biblical teaching. Shame on you, Muhammad. Shame on you. We know your followers are calling you illiterate, but this proves, this proves that you are spiritually illiterate. You are ignorant. You are spiritually illiterate. This is why you are called Ummi. Right? What a shame. What a shame in 2020 to follow such an evil man. And you Christians here in the West are asking us why we should not, you know, why we should be more respectful with these evil sons of Satan. Why we should respect Muhammad. Should we respect this Muhammad who is cursing and insulting our Lord and Savior. Pelipan saying, you are taking verses out of context. Call me and let's see. 
Refute me, man. My Skype ID is Dirop Christian. Refute me. Refute me. Show me well, how am I lying. Show me. Show everybody. We have more than 240 people watching, man. I know my voice is gone. You have an advantage over me, man. Look how I'm sounding. My voice is gone. So you have an advantage. Maybe you can refute me, man. I'm talking for two hours straight now. Two hours and uh, 33 minutes. And no Muslim can refute me? What's that, man? You claim to follow the religion of truth. Deen al-Haqq. Okay, if you make that claim, then that means you have the courage and the knowledge to call us and refute us in front of everybody. I promise you, if you can refute you, I'll delete my YouTube channel, man. I will stop spanking your prophet, man. Do something about it, man. You are a fake brother. No, you and your prophet are fake. You and your prophet are fake. Your prophet is a scammer. When Aisha, she busted Muhammad, sleeping around, right? He, she and Hafza. And when Aisha, she saw that, you know, Muhammad can accept any woman who throws herself at Muhammad. You know what Aisha said? She knew her husband was a scam. She said, and I quote, Aisha, the mother of the believers, by the way, and I quote, I see that your Lord fulfills your desires, ah, Muhammad. Aisha said, Aisha said, aha, aha, you're a scam. You want to be inside every woman, Muslim woman panties. Aha, 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 aha. Mm -mm -mm. You know, Muhammad, you know, he created this cult together with Khadija for his penis, man. Every woman who throws herself at Muhammad, Muhammad can ever immediately, brother. Ah, ah, Aisha said. Wow. Are they not ashamed? Aisha, guys, go to the books. Aisha said, are they not ashamed to throw themselves at you, Muhammad? Do they, don't they have any honor or respect for themselves? Whores, man. They are whores. Ah, ah, Aisha said. I see. Uh -huh, said. I see that your Lord hastens. He is running. Right? I think Allah used to run even outrun Usain Bolt himself, man. Usain Bolt, you know him, right? The Olympic guy. Allah used to outrun Usain Bolt to fulfill the desires of Muhammad. Brother. Right? Marvel MCU, idiot, 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 call me, call me, stop being an idiot, call me, refute me, stay on topic, ya, ya Muhammadan, ya Jaban, ya Munafiq, stay on topic, call me, let's see what will happen to you, I promise you, when you call me, I'm going to put my left hand behind my back, I will stand on one foot, and I will use only 10% of my knowledge, okay, I promise you that, God is my witness, Let's see if you can refute me, man. You have advantage over me. And look, my sound is gone, man. I'm talking for more than two hours and 30 minutes. Ya Jahil ibn Jahil. Ya Munafiq, ya hypocrite. Muhammad would be ashamed of you that you don't have the courage as a jihadi. You are nothing but a jihadi keyboard terrorist. You have no honor. You have no shame. You have no dignity. You cannot even defend your prophet, man. Only thing you can do is saying Christianity is false, religion of pork. Yeah, idiot, idiot. Yeah, idiot, son of an idiot. Let me show you how your prophet spanked you. Let me show you. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Since you mentioned pork. Chapter 5, look what it says. This day, good foods have been made lawful and the food of those who give in the scripture. What, 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 what? According to Muhammad's yellow pages, i.e. the Quran, chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah 5, it says, the Jews and the Christians, their food are lawful for you. But Christians ate pork. Uh-oh. How is pork suddenly good? It's lawful. Jews maybe don't eat pork, but the Christians eat pork. So good that you mentioned pork, so it's allowed. Chapter 5, ayah 5, brother. 
since you can eat the food of the Christians. Thank you for mentioning that. Now we can use it against your prophet in the court of law. See, when Muhammad was talking in the Quran, he was doing poo poo. Muhammad was doing poo poo in chapter 5, ayah 5. Right? Guys, don't we always say before we start our live show, everything Muslims say, everything Muhammad says will be used against them in the court of law? I think that's my, my, my line, you know, those are my words, man. I should, you know, I should sue anybody who is going to use the, that sentence from now on, right? Maybe I should use a patent of, or what, what do you call it in English? Sorry if I'm butchering the word, you know? I should maybe put a copyright on it, man. Everything Muslims and Muhammad says or say will be used against them and the Prophet in the court of law. Trademark, yeah, trademark. Yeah. Thank you for helping me out here. <clears throat> Screenshot. <laughs> well, you should, man. This is what we do, right? We are always telling you, copy, copy those sources that we use against Muhammad in the court of law. This is chapter 5, ayah 5. I just gave you the link, guys. So Muhammad said to the Muslims, everything, even pork. Look, this day all good foods have been made lawful and the food of those who were given the scripture. Who are the people of the scripture? Who are Ahlul Kitab? Alladheena Utul Kitab? Those are the Jews and the Christians. Right? Lulu Mimi says, I know Muslims who eat pork. Yes, I know a lot of Muslims who eat pork. They only say it to you, you know, to deceive you. My friends, when I was 16 years old, when I was 16 years old, you know, and when it was summer vacation, I was a student, I was poor, right? I had no money. So, you know, I was finding some part-time jobs, right guys? So once I went to work in a salad factory, a salad factory, yes. So I went there, I was 16, I was a really young kid, right? And there were many Muslims working there. You know, Muslims, they don't study. M most of them, they working like, you know, you know, easy jobs, man, easy money. So they don't study, they go and they work in uh, meat factories, salad factories and whatnot. You have no idea how many Muslims used to eat pork meat, you know? You have all kind of meat, you have chicken, all kind of meat, right? Beef, uh, pork. And I saw, I kid you not, guys, mark my words. I saw Muslims with my own eyes, Sunni Muslim, not Shia, Sunni Muslims from the Middle East. Those are the Arab speaking Muslims. I saw with my own eyes, they eat from a huge, you know, you had very huge amount of meat there that, you know, you put, you take and you put in uh, between the breads, right? Betwe between the buns. They took it and they stuffed their face with pork meat. I kid you not. And they dare to say pork, pork is haram? Yeah. Yeah, right. And you, my friend, we used to even play games with Muslims, right? We went to, you know, back in the old days, you know, they're, you know, Muslims. We even or played with them, right? Uh, they asked, what kind of meat is it? Yeah, this is halal, man. This, this is, you know, beef. Eat it. After they eat it, <laughs> we were telling them, yeah, you just ate pork. You just left Islam. That was pork, brother. <laughs> and the amount of insults that we used to get. Yeah, good, good old times. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was naughty when I was young, man. Don't you, don't you, don't you see it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Muslims eat more, more pork than you and me, man. Even the Quran allows it, man. What about alcohol? Allah says that alcohol is a good thing, man. But when Muhammad became sick, from what? From the poison of the Jewish woman. Muhammad was too stupid to, you know, allow a Jewish woman that he just killed her entire tribe. He killed her father, he killed her uncles, her brothers, her cousins, right? And she came to him, she said, let me, let me make some delicious meat for you. I mean, Muhammad, you just killed her entire family. You wiped her entire tribe out. You killed all the men. You took the women as sex slaves. Now you are allowing a Jewish woman to cook food for you? 
Should you not think maybe she's going to poison me? <laughs> not a mercy, right? Not a mercy. This, this is a prophet. Why didn't Jibril came to him and said, no, no, don't eat. So Muhammad, after becoming sick, guys, in the last three years, alcohol started to be forbidden. In the last three years of the life of Muhammad, he started to forbid alcohol. Before that, Muslims used to drink alcohol more than you and me. And they called it Nabid. Even Muhammad used to drink with his homeboys, the Sahaba, for three days straight, Nabid, which is wine, Nabid, right? Nabid is wine in Arabic. Muhammad used to drink Nabid, which is wine. More than you and me. Then he became sick. He stopped allowing them to drink it. In the last three years before his death. Why? Because he became so sick from that poison. Right? They even used to drag him around with his feet over the floor. So sick Muhammad was. And even Aisha says, I never seen anyone suffer like Muhammad. I mean, if Muhammad is the final prophet. He is the leader of all the prophets according to Islam. And is the beloved of Allah. Shouldn't Allah not allow Muhammad to suffer that horrible way? Aisha said, this is the mother of the believers. She said, I never seen anyone suffering like Muhammad. Where is Allah when you need him? Muhammad died like a rat and Allah did not do anything about it. Yeah, a terrible, he died a terrible, painful death like a dead rat he is. Like the rat prophet he is. Poisoned red. Right? And we showed you guys. <clears throat> we showed you from, if I'm not mistaken, chapter 69. When Muhammad said, I feel. Right? I feel that my aorta is being cut off by the poison that I ate at Khaybar. The poisoned food I ate at Khaybar. We showed you last time. That it was Allah actually. I don't believe Allah exists. I'm not giving any power to Allah, guys. Don't put words in my mouth. But if we go by what the Quran says, we can conclude that Allah is the one who killed Muhammad. Allah himself was tired of Muhammad and he is the one who cut off the aorta of Muhammad. Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, here. Watch, guys, watch. This is the ayah. Let me make it bigger. Guys, are you still with me? Give me one, please. Are you still with me? Are you still with me, guys? Give me one, please. I'm not sure if I'm... Okay, I'm still be heard. Okay, good, good. Look, chapter 69, ayah 44. Chapter 69, take notes, ayah 44. وَلَوْ تَقَوَّلَ عَلَيْنَا بِبَعْضِ الْأَقَاوِيلِ لَأَخَدْنَا لَأَخَدْنَا منه باليتين ثم لقطعنا منه الوتين Let me scroll back and read it translation And if Muhammad had made up about us some false sayings Allah is saying If Muhammad lied and fabricated things against us We would have seized him by the right hand So Allah would have grabbed him by the right hand Then, and here comes the meat Then we would have cut from him the aorta Did you catch it? Al-Watin, the aorta, do you see it? So, even Allah was tired of Muhammad. Even Allah is tired of Muhammad and he's the one who cut off the aorta of Muhammad. And what did Muhammad say according to Aisha? Muhammad said, and I quote, I feel that my aorta is being cut off by that poisoned food that I ate at Khaybar. Bam! Uh oh. Any Abdul? No Abdul? Where are the Muslim heroes when you need them, man? Where are the Muslim heroes when you. Where is Fifi? Where is Fifi? Where is Mimi? Where is Lili? I mean, if you are a Muslim, let's say you are a regular Muslim guy. And you are a follower of Fifi, Mimi, Lili. And you, you think that they are your Muslim heroes to go to. To learn about Islam. Are you not ashamed that these people don't step up to refute us? 
¿Mm? Ah, no sé, nada. You only come here to call us names, that's it. Thank God I'm not you. Thank God that I don't need to resort to insults because I have nothing to say, right? Muslims have nothing to say. The only thing they can do is call us names, call us stupid, call us uh, evil and whatnot, and sending us death threats, sending us all kind of insult and whatnot. Curses less than right. You have no idea, my spam folder, guys, my spam folder is full with Muslim comments on YouTube who are sending me all kind of bad language and death threats. It's full. Why? Because they are nothing but bankrupt Abduls. They need to resort to insults because they cannot refute us. Thank God I'm not you. Thank God that we Christians don't need to l go to that kind of level because we have the truth. We are followers of the truth. We are followers of the truth. Who is the truth? Jesus himself. I am the truth. I am the way, the truth, and life, said Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and life, said Jesus. So we are followers of the truth who claims to be the truth. Amin. That's how we say in Arabic. Amin. Amen. Amin. Any Muslim? Hey, Shakespeare. يا أخي وينك حبيبي وينك call me يا شيكسبير برادر my skype id is drop christian i want to have a dialogue with you man let us talk bro i would love to talk to another arabic speaker like me يلا يا أخي سعادة بن عمك يا أخي اتصل في يا أخي skype id drop christian يلا حبيبي يلا 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 ايه الامه دي يا حلاوه ايه الامه دي ايه الحلاوه دي يا عمي no muslim has the courage and the knowledge to call us ايه الامه دي يا حلاوه ايه الحلاوه دي يا عمي ايه الامه دي I learned that from Adil Iman by the way for the Arabic speaking Christians who know Adil Iman Yeah. Yeah. Any any Christian guys? Any Arabic speaking Christian? I want to have a laugh, man. Let us spank uh, Islam together. Call me, guys. If there are Arabic speaking Christians, call me, please. Rob Christian, you're scared of Muhammad Hijab? Yeah, bro. Have you not seen my videos about Muhammad Hijab? Bro, the amount of videos that I made about Muhammad Hijab, if you watch those videos, you're going to be ashamed of Muhammad Hijab. Give yourself a chance, go watch my videos about Muhammad Hijab. You're going to get ashamed of his lies and deception. You're going even to go, if you watch my videos, you're going to go to Muhammad Hijab, grab, grab him by the d filthy, disgusting beard of his, and drag him over the floor. If you are a sincere Muslim and you watch my videos about Muhammad Hijab, you're going to go with it to him, to London, where, wherever he lives, you're going to grab him by his beard and drag him over the floor, because he's making Islam look bad. The Muhammad Hijab that you're so proud about, brother. Any callers, guys? Are we out of callers? Let me call this guy. <clears throat> this guy back. Jalal al-Tabari? Jalal al-Tabari? What's that, man? Muhammad ibn Jarir al-Tabari, not Jalal al-Tabari. Muslims, they don't even the name of their, you know, of their scholars, man. Idiot. Jalal? Jalal al-Tabari? Uh, brother, did you smoke something? Since when is al-Tabari called Jalal al-Tabari, you idiot? Stop doing drugs, man. Lay down the pie, brother. You don't even know the name of your scholar, man. 
جلال طبري ايديت ام يحيى 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 send me a message مستر بين مستر بين look this is مستر بين he's spamming me you know مستر بين didn't you enjoy the spanking that I gave you yesterday on Soko films we made you even say in the you know guys this Mr. Bean we call him Mr. Bean Mr. Yahya uh, Shakespeare brother Shakespeare and I were on Soko films yesterday maybe you you seen it maybe you didn't maybe you should go and watch it uh, Mr. Bean here he had a debate with a pastor his name is Pastor Mark and when the round for you know asking questions started i called in and shakespeare also called a brother from lebanon a christian uh, brother we called we called in to ask mr bean some questions mr yahya and we asked him about allah khairul makareen allah the best of deceivers he said no it means planners i first called no sorry uh, shakespeare called about that then I said, I confirm as an Arabic speaker. He said, no, it means the best of planners. After he know that he's got, he's got spanked, he has no, nowhere to go. Mr. Bean, you liar, son of a liar. Where do you want to go? Wherever you hide, yes, I look, we will go come for you, Abdul. We will come for you. So he lied about it. And both Shakespeare and, and I, myself, we spanked him left and right. And we made him, even in the end, we made him say it, that Allah is the best of deceivers. You see how these liars, when they are alone, they are not surrounded by Arabic speaking Christians. They can use taqiyya, they, they can get away with it. But when we have Arabic speaking Christians, you, you cannot play those taqiyya games and go away with it. We, will, we are there to spank you, spank your prophet and your Satan, I mean Allah, in disguise. Where do you go, Ibn Bain al-Maluk? Where do you go? Where do you go? We will catch you, we will corner you and we will spank you and serve you for everybody to see. Brother, this is 2020, brother. Internet is the biggest weapon against your prophet, your fake prophet, and Satan that you call Allah, brother. You are surely a transgressor. Uh, brother, your prophet, when he forced jizya on Jews and Christians, when, he, when we didn't want to pay jizya, they killed our men, right? They killed our men. They forced Jizyana, they killed our men, they took our women as, as sex slaves. We are the transgressors, yes, 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 yes. We are the transgressors. We have been persecuted for the last 1400 years in, in our own countries. They came with the sword, they forced Islam on us. We, did, we didn't want to become Muslims. They forced Jizya on us, mafia protection money. From who? From the Muslim hands. And if we didn't want to convert to Islam, and we didn't want to pay Jizya, and feel subdued and disgraced, they were allowed to take our, our women as sex slaves, brother. Booty, brother. They call it booty, brother. Sex slaves, yes. And we are the transgressors, you idiot. You evil son of Satan. How dare you, man? How dare you, 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 you idiot, you donkey. You truly have no shame. You have no honor. You have no dignity when you Use those words that go back against you and, and, and your prophet and the Sahaba. The cult leader, the mafia leader Muhammad. Right? And his army of thugs. How dare you, How dare you man? You have the audacity to tell me I'm, I'm the transgressor? You have the audacity? <laughs> Something wrong with you, man. Something wrong with you, bruh. Any any calling? <clears throat> uh, 
Any Muslim? Any Christian who wants to come? Any Muslim after today's live show who thinks that Islam is the Deen al-Haq? I mean, if, if you truly claim that Islam is Deen al-Haq, why are you such scared puppies, scared kittens, meow, to call us? Please, uh, Muslims, leave your man-made cult. Muhammad was nothing but a murderer of children, women. He was nothing but a mafia cult leader. Please come back home to Jesus Christ, man. Drop him like a bag of sand on the floor and leave Islam and come back home to Jesus. My Lord and your Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Including your knees, Muslims. Including your knees. Is there any Muslim or Christian who wants to call, guys, before we wrap this up? Any Muslim? Uh, Lebanese, uh, you can call me if you like. You don't need to say hello. Let me call you. Let me call you. I have no idea if it's a Muslim or a Christian. I have no idea. It only says Lebanese, so I don't know if it's. A, I think I think it's a Christian, but I'm not sure. Anyway. I think it's a Shia Liban from Lebanon. Shia Muslim from Lebanon. Pick up, man. Shia boy. Lebanese Shia is not available, brother. Well, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad, brother. Brother, why are you scared, brother? Are you sending me a hello, and that's it. Is is the, is, the, is Islam the religion of hello, brother? Hello, 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 hello. No answer, brother. Why, brother? Any Muslim, guys? Any Muslim? Rob is totally joke. Marvel MCU. Is that the only thing you have to say, brother? Is that it? And by the way, Marvel MCU. You are a Sunni Muslim, right? Your name, Marvel MCU, Marvel MCU, your name is actually an insult to the Prophet of Islam. Because from your name, if you are watching movies, you are watching comics of Marvel, Marvel Comics, MCU, right? The Marvel Cinematics Universe. You are actually calling your prophet a liar with that name because your prophet said that pictures are not allowed. So when you are watching movies, you are watching pictures like these, you are already out of Islam, man. You are not following the Sunnah, yeah, 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 haram boy. Haram, brother. Pictures are haram, brother. Comics, Marvel is haram. Ya munafiq, ya hypocrite. Are you calling me a joke? You're calling your prophet a joke with that nickname. Watching Mickey Mouse, you, you become an apostate, man. You're a kafir, you're a munafiq. When you're a kafir, you're a munafiq, you're a hypocrite. You're out of Islam. Brother, you're a joke, Rob Christian. I see, guys, I don't even need to talk, to talk to these people to spank them and their prophet left and right. See how easy it is, man? Guys, you need to learn, I kid you not, you need, you need to learn how to debate Muslims. And you also need to learn how not to debate Muslims, right? Because Muslims are a different kind of breed. Because when they, when you, when you are going to talk very respectful with them, very humble with them. They think you are, you're a coward, you're easy, you know, to, to debate. But when you go aggressive, they start to feel the heat. They are already no match for you. L learn how to use 
their words against them in the Prophet in the court of law. Learn. Learn how to debate Muslims and learn how to not debate Muslims. Learn guys, take notes. Take notes. Muslims are different kind of people. Been there, done that for 15 years. This is why we developed a very ag aggressive style. I have a very good headset. I make sure to stay very focused and stay focused and listen carefully to what a Muslim says. Anything you say, Muslims, anything you say, I will use it against you and your prophet in the court of law. That's my trademark from now on. Learn, Christians, learn. Learn how to debate and learn also how not to debate Muslims at the same time. Use their own arguments against them. Turn their argument against them in the court of law. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. What BS is this? Call me. Let's see who is doing BS. You or me? Call me, yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. Yalla, yalla, yeah. My Skype ID is d Rob Christian. Show me that you have knowledge about Islam. I want, I challenge you for a live on air Skype debate. Do you accept my challenge? Step up, be a man, and defend Islam from me. I am spanking your prophet left and right. Right? According to Islam, Allah needs a girlfriend to have a son. Do you agree with that? Yeah, 23 dislikes by now. Allah prays. We have 23 dislikes and no Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me. You, you know, Muhammad, your prophet should be ashamed of you. Of you. Muhammad is now in his grave and he's ashamed of you Muslims who cannot defend him. We have only kittens of Allah. Meow. In the comment section they are. Meow. You are a joke Rob Christian. Meow. But anyone guys if you still can hear me. <clears throat> I mean, am I still being heard guys? Muslims, where are the men? Let us separate the men from the boys, man. It's back, okay, good. Praise the Lord. Let us separate the boys from the men. Is that a deal? Call me and refute me. Show me where I'm lying. We are three hours, for three hours and five minutes we are live on air. No Muslim has the courage and the knowledge to refute me. What a shame. You are no Christian. Uh, how? Wow, wow. Why am I not a Christian according to you? You think Christians sing Kumbaya, my Lord, all day long? You think Christians, we are uh, hippies? That's what you think that Christianity is. You know, my Jesus, he spanked evil sons of Satan like the evil son of Satan they are. And he even called them a brood of vipers. He called them snakes. He used the whip. And he flipped tables on people's head. And I'm not the Christian when I'm spanking your prophet. Your false prophet. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Who, who are you to call me non-Christian? Who are you, man? Rob Christian, you're not a Christian. Yeah. But Jesus used to whip. Jesus spanked evil Sanhedrin leaders. And he called them a brood of vipers. He called them snakes. If I'm a Christian, if I'm a Christian, and I call myself a follower of Christ, that's the definition of a Christian, I follow what my Christ did, because he is my example to go to, right? Victim mode, yeah, John, you have nothing. Hello? Hello, dear Rob, do you hear me? Yeah, hello, you're a Christian, right, my friend? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah. Welcome, your life on air. Go ahead, brother. Uh, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Uh, I want to share from my experience, if uh, it is okay. Yes, I welcome. Go it. ahead, brother. Go ahead. Well, uh, I watch uh, CP channel, uh, channel also. I have learned many in the past uh, three months about Islam. I didn't think that I would learn some uh, so so much. Um, <laughs> Appreciate it, and, brother. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, you and uh, the we are here to serve. We are here to serve, brother. Nothing else. We are only here to serve the truth, my friend. Thank you. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, well, I I don't want to keep you long because uh, I like to <laughs> I like to <laughs> to hear my voice and others <laughs> to hear my voice. But uh, this is not important. <laughs> we have to work for Christ, you know. Yeah. So my experience is like this. Um, uh, CB once told, told once in the yeah. beginning that. Uh, um, Islam is the work of the devil. I didn't quite, uh, I didn't quite keep in mind that thing. But now, yeah. now, uh, some time ago, I uh, just rechewed that thought. And uh, the point is like this: yeah. we cannot, we cannot, as Christians, we cannot break uh, Satan's work alone. No. So, uh, just uh, had one time. God uh, illuminated me with a thought. How about we break uh, Satan's uh, work with uh, God's work? Yes, with and the truth, yes. With what Jesus taught us to do. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, that, uh, you know, uh, to be, uh, to be, uh, to overcome the power of the devil, we must be, um, we, we have to lean on Jesus. As yes. you said in, um, Amen. Um, I am the vine; you are the little limbs. Without me, you can do nothing. Something yes. like that, but I don't know. Anyway, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, the point is, um, I call many Muslims. I, I don't think that is the debate. Well, just answer to their uh, comments in the sections. Uh, your uh, at your clips at uh, CP clips at some some shamun clips anyway, and mm -hmm. I say okay man you say that uh, your uh, your Quran is the truth very very well very well let us uh, view from the point of the medicine of, yeah. of a drug mm -hmm. so uh, you say to me uh, Islam is, is uh, Quran is the book of life you you say that you found there how big is the universe how big is the but do we find do you have in the Quran feedings Healings and resurrections, brother. Uh, yeah. Because if you don't, then we have then we have a problem. Yeah. And exactly. I tell them, yes, you Muslims, you know, you want to kill us Christians. There's no problem. Let us kill kill us. Okay, no problem. No. But first, 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 you have to kill the resurrection of Christ because our church is built on the resurrection mm. of Christ. And uh, all uh, all apostles said, uh, if we don't, um, no, Paul. Paul, yeah. I, if I uh, um, said, uh, I will quote some time later the the, the, the verse. But uh, he said, um, if we don't, if Jesus didn't resurrect, we are look, we are be seen like liars. Yeah, my friend, just just because you mentioned it, it's really important. Let me let me go to the Quran and prove to you that actually the Quran itself, according to Allah, Jesus did die. Allah caused. Jesus to die. Let me show you. Just a second, okay? No problem. No problem. Because no. it's very important what you just said. You know, we don't need to prove Christianity, right? We don't need right. to prove Christianity from the Quran. We don't need the Quran. Guys, right. mark my words. We do not need the Quran to prove that Jesus died on the cross and resurrected on the third day. But because Muslims follow the Quran, Right? They have to follow the Quran. It's not da'if. They can play those games with hadith. But since we're talking about the Quran, you have to accept what the Quran is saying. Watch, my friend, watch. Yeah. Chapter 3, ayah 55. It says, recall what time Allah said. Guys, pay attention, please. Are you with me? Just, just, just a second, my friend. Are you guys with me? Give me one of you with me. Forget about the Muslims for a second in the live chat. Give me one of you with me, please. Give I me am. one. Yeah. All I right. Am. All right. Yeah. They're listening. Okay. Recall what time Allah said. Oh, Isa. Muslims claim this is Jesus, right? Oh, Isa. Verily, I shall make thee die. Did you catch it? I shall make thee die. So here, Allah caused Jesus to die. Mutawafika. Inni mutawafika, ya Isa. Right? Ya Isa. Inni mutawafika. Oh, Isa. Allah saying, I'm causing you to die. Here, the death is confirmed of, which, of Isa, which they claim, 
that it's Jesus. Yes, it's Jesus. Yeah. On top of that, not only that, also the resurrection. And I'm lifting thee to myself. Do you see it? So the death and the resurrection confirmed in chapter 3, Ayah 55. Take notes. Take a selfie, take a screenshot, do what you ever have to do. Let me also give the link to the live chat. So guys, put it in their faces. This is the translation of Darya Badi, a Muslim Sunni scholar. Inni mutawafika. Do you see it? I am causing you to die. So how dare you Muslims to say that Jesus did not die and resurrect? While your Quran confirms the death of Jesus and the resurrection. Yeah, I know my voice is gone. I know, I know guys. You don't need to tell me that. I know. But you know, as long we can do this, we will continue. Do you see how the Quran confirms the death and, Je and the resurrection of Jesus? Who they call Isa? Bam! Muslims. Go ahead. Um, uh, yeah, well, uh, let me open a bracket here. But didn't uh, they say in their, in their Quran that uh, uh, Jesus didn't die? So, uh, in a part, Jesus didn't die, but here uh, Jesus di uh, died. Yes. Uh, yeah, that I mean, is a contradiction. That is yes. the Quran is false, you know, yeah, by, yeah. Their Quran, by their Quran. No, they no, my friend, it's not, you know, uh, the Quran, the Quran does not say that Jesus did not die. The Quran is clear. Jesus did die and he was yeah. lifted. He was raised. So Muslims, 1400 years later, have to lie. They have to use taqiyya and makr of Allah, deception, to lie to us. Yeah. They cannot, you know, you can play those games with Arabic speaking Christians, man. We are dangerous. <laughs> Don't mess with us. We will show you what it says. Right? Yeah. Even the Arabic. For Let me give you an example, guys. My dad, my, sorry, my dad died a couple years ago, guys. Right? Sorry. Yeah. My dad died a couple years ago. When I'm, someone, when an Arabic speaker asks me in the Arabic, where's your father? I'm going to say, Abuya. Tawaffa, my dad died. Abuya Tawaffa, do you hear it? Tawaffa, mutawafika, Tawaffa. Root word Tawaffa, Tawafika, Tawaffa, mutawafika. Same word. Did you hear it? Mutawafika, Tawaffa. It's the same death. And it, this word is used about 18 times in the Quran. And it's the context of dying death. Death, dying. You cannot play those games with us. We are Arabs. We know how to spank you. We know. We are here. Thank you guys for giving me condolences about my dad. But you know, that's reality. But as I've, if someone asks me, where's your father? I'm going to say, Abuya Tawaffa, Mutawafika. Not only chapter, you know, these Muslims want to interrupt us. Not only here, if we go to chapter 5, hold on my friend, okay? Just, you know, yeah, to confirm it from a different place in the Quran. Chapter 5. I 117. So we have chapter 355 and we have chapter 5, I 117. Watch. Watch, guys. Just a second. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Do you want me to. Uh, a boy. Do you want me to block you? Keep doing what you do. A Muslim interrupt us. Yeah. So here, if we go to chapter 5, I 117. Not Allah is confirming, not only Allah in chapter 3, ayah 55 is confirming the death of Jesus. Also, Isa himself, who they call Jesus, is confirming. But when though this caused me to die, do you see it? Do you see it? But when though Allah did cause me to die. So Isa himself, فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي Isa is saying, فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي تَوَفَّى مُتَوَفِّيكَ تَوَفَّيْتَنِي Do you hear it? So yeah. where, where are Muslims? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go with your lies and deception? Where? Where? Tell us. Tell us. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, well, for me, it is a new new chapter to watch uh, the Quran presented by you, by uh, Sam Shamoon, by uh, uh, Christian Prince. You know, uh, it is a big, uh, big uh, source of information. And uh, yeah, how can, how can I say that um, uh, I'm sorry for the Muslims? I'm I'm really sorry. You know, 
uh, we go as a Christian. Uh, I, I I go back to my experience. So I, I say as a Christian, I have I have to lean every day on Jesus. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, but I have this uh, promise of the eternal life. Yeah. Nevertheless, you know, um, someone told me you, there are many kinds of Christians. You know, those that work with Christians that are practical Christians, and those that just yeah, go to the church. It's 2020, like, right? It's 2020. It's you know. Uh, that you go to church yeah. like uh, how you say it? like that like uh, mm -hmm. I don't know it is Sunday we go to church and that's it mm -hmm. but we have to go from here to it we have to change our style my friend you know a lot of Christians unfortunately are too political correct especially here in the West they I think can... they have no idea how what Christians in the Middle East had to deal with how we got persecuted how how Christians okay. you in Tur even in Turkey. You know, a couple, a couple years ago, they even tried to wipe out the Christian Assyrians and the Christian Armenians from the face of the earth in Turkey in 1915. Yeah. In 1915, a huge genocide on the Christians in the yeah, Middle East. You know, I saw, I saw Christian women. Christians you know, forget. Christians here in the West, they forget. They forget. Right? They yeah, have no they, idea. When you have your belly full of food and. Uh, uh, water maybe and warm maybe you can forget you know you start <coughs> you, you sit down just to just but I saw in a black and white uh, picture I saw um, uh, a Syrian woman women uh, put on the cross by the Turkish you know mm. yeah uh, well uh, let, let us not keep you long so yeah, uh, exactly. from my experience mm -hmm. uh, uh, the prayers are mm. a good weapon against the uh, the satan's work and yeah. first you know we know all our father but let me tell you another two prayers that i use every day mm -hmm. so uh, first is uh, lord jesus please come into my life and take my life into your hands amen, amen. amen. that has a, a base that has a foundation on 1 john 5 12. Amen. Whoever has the Son has the life. Who doesn't have the Son of God does not have the life. So, amen, amen. Uh, um, you the, know, one, the one who rejects the Father, the Son, he's nothing but an Antichrist. Just to add up what you said. So if you reject the Son, you reject the Father, you're nothing but an Antichrist. And that's what Muhammad is. That's what the Muslims, 1.6 billion Muslims are. You are an Antichrist when you reject the Son and the Father. Please leave Muhammad. Don't be an Antichrist. Come back home to Jesus. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. Mm. And the next, uh, the next prayer, the next prayer is, um, uh, please God, open my way, for nothing is without you. Um, mm. This foundation is, open my way, or um, between brackets, thy way for me, because you know what, uh, God knows everything what is good for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, to support this, to, to make a base for this, I am a good driver. I am an aggressive driver. I drive mm -hmm. so aggressive that I uh, even scare myself. But mm -hmm. I don't do nothing and I, I, I go, uh, let me tell you, I go 10%, uh, 15% of what can I do mm -hmm. uh, if I go without Jesus. So it happens to me very many times to go on the road, to go to, to work, and it's not a problem. And I go... Bam, 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 I'm good, and some, some, uh, sometimes I go stuck. I, st I, I go stuck in the traffic, I, I don't know what to do, don't, I can go left, I can go right, because it's, it's traffic. And the voice in my mind, what do you forget to say when you went out of home? Ah, that's it. Mm -hmm. God, please open my way, for nothing stands without you. And I, mm -hmm. I can swear, but it's not important. Yeah. Uh, All right, my friend, maybe you want to say something for that because, you know, I'm tired. My voice is gone. Maybe you can okay, say something it. last. Yeah, because, you know, we, I'm no, talking no. for at least three hours. So please. Yes, I know. Yeah. It is. Maybe you oh. can share something last point, my friend, to our last, audience. Yeah. Last point, that yes. is it. That, that, those, uh, those. And, and my friend, please, yeah. when you drive your car, please be safe. Okay. Be, be safe. <laughs> Always with Jesus. Yeah. Always yeah. With Jesus. yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. That's enough for now. Okay, thank you very much for listening to me. Thank I you. hope I didn't uh, no, uh, waste your time thank, so much. No, no, no. Thank you for calling. God bless <laughs> you, my much. friend. Stay safe. Stay thank safe you. and uh, God bless your family. Thank you for calling. God bless you all. God Goodbye. bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. 
I know, guys, I know, you know, uh, uh, I know that Hatun from DCCI is going to go live. She's going to go live. Uh, Abdul's, you know, we'll give you a chance. This is Jalal, Jalal al Tabari. Yeah, uh, you need to fix your name. You need to fix your name. There's something wrong with you, brother. Uh, there's nothing called Jalal al Tabari. I did. So, uh, DCCI will go live in a, mo a couple of moments. And tonight also David Wood will go live too. I'm tired, guys. You know, I just recovered. As you know, I was sick for a couple of days. Thank you for your prayers. Guys, please keep us in your prayers. My voice is gone, I know. But, you know, I love you guys. I would love to stay with you for many hours. God bless your families. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Uh, who's this? Say it, Hisham. Okay, let me try this guy. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Uh, yeah, bro, I've been watching your videos, you know. Yeah, well, um, welcome. And, uh, Are you a Muslim? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, are you uh, there? Are you there? Yes, sorry. I'm okay, Muslim. Okay, are you, are you a Muslim? Okay. Are you Sunni or Shia Muslim? Shia. Shia. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, go ahead. But I'm getting, uh, you know, very convinced uh, through your videos. Oh, wow. Okay, so what, what is your status at the moment? You want to leave Islam or something? Uh, I want to join your path, please. You want to join what? I want to join your path. You want my join my path? What is that path? Christianity, bro. Okay. You, <laughs> okay. You wanna okay. you wanna say to everybody that you're going to leave Islam and become a Christian? Yeah, give me the Christian shahada, like you know. Okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. It's, it's no, your no, no. show. Gu guide me, guide me through the shahada, bro. What is the shahada for the Christians, please? Well. Are you going to denounce Muhammad and say that he's a fake prophet? <laughs> okay, just go, just go, just go. I think, I, I think I'm born yesterday. Yeah, Manaul ibn Manaul. Uh, believer. Yeah, you want to be a Christian, huh? Idiot, taqiyya boy. Idiot, idiot, idiot. You guys, you know, I'm not, I'm not born yesterday. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Of course he's playing, man. I immediately, I immediately, I knew. <laughs> see, guys, how they play with their salvation, bro, guys. You see, so you know, truth is a game for them. The truth is a game for them. They don't, you know, they don't care about Muhammad, especially the Shia. They don't care. They worship Ali. They worship Hassan and Hussein and Fatima. Shia also believe that Muhammad needs to ask permission from his daughter Fatima before he can enter Jannah and she are even more worse than Sunni's last call let's see hello 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 the hello oh. gamers okay guys I think uh, enough playing with uh, Shia Muslims only Shia Muslims want to call me Sunnis are cowards and Shia Want to call me to play games? Yeah, just go, just go. Thank you for this, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. God bless your families. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I love you. We are here for the truth, and only the truth will prevail. Islam is nothing but a bankrupt religion. They have no truth, and you see, you see them, and you will recognize them by the fruits. Jesus said, right? We know that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. He and Khadija created Islam to attack Christianity, to attack Jesus and his mother, his blessed mother Mary. And we know because of the money of Khadija, Muhammad could become a prophet with the money and power of Khadija by the help of Waraka who was translating from many books for him so he can use it and put it in the Quran. He's nothing but a scam. Right? We know that. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. Thank you for your support and your donations. Go with the peace of Christ. May Jesus bless you, your loved ones and families. See you, Lord willing, in a future live show. God bless.